Throughout this class, I'm going to be giving you a lot of helpful tips and tricks that will really raise the bar on the lighting scheme in your home. So when I was putting together this particular lecture, I had a challenge deciding which three designer tricks I wanted to share with you first. I decided to go ahead and focus on three common techniques that interior designers use that didn't naturally fall into another section of this course. So while these three are great, just know that many more helpful tips will be coming throughout the entire course. That said, here is my first trick for you. Whenever possible, especially in your bathroom or your bedroom where you typically want to look your best, use sconces instead of relying solely on your overhead lights. Overhead lights, while great at providing overall ambient light to a room, also tend to cause unflattering shadows on our faces, which is usually not what you want at any time of day, but particularly when you are trying to get ready in the morning. Overhead lights also tend to amplify wrinkles, which is not fun for anyone over the age of 30. Sconces, when placed correctly, illuminate your face beautifully. Why? Because they are generally placed at eye level, which means that the light is traveling across the room at you instead of down on top of you. Sconces are also never glaring because the light source is typically shielded by fabric, glass, or metal, diffusing the light beautifully. As I just mentioned, I particularly love them in the bathroom and I regularly specify them for my clients and I always use them in my own bathrooms, from my powder room to my master bathroom. Now, apart from the bathroom, they are also great to place on either side of your bed, in your hallways, up the stairwell, flanking the left and right side of your fireplace, and they look so elegant in a dining room. And this is just to name a few places. Sconces look great almost anywhere, including your kitchen, which people often don't think about. One reason people may shy away from sconces is because they think it is going to be expensive to install them. But the labor isn't as much as you may think. And the cost for a pair of sconces is often less expensive than for a chandelier and is often in line with the cost of a table lamp. Now, for those of you who just can't or don't want to deal with the labor involved for installing hardwired sconces, they do make plug-in sconces as well. Although not my favorite because I'm not a fan of visible cords. However, they still can be a great option for many. And many people aren't bothered by the cords like I am. So do yourself a favor and invest in some sconces. I am confident that you will love the result. My second trick for you is a really easy one and it has to do with one of my very favorite accessories to decorate with. If you've taken any of my other courses, you know that I am always, always encouraging you to use plants in your interior design. Plants are just amazing. They give us oxygen, they liven up a room with their color and their texture, and they are great at filling empty corners. So that said, my trick is this. For any large plants that you have placed against a wall, invest in some uplights and place them on the ground behind your plants. They will make the plant in your room appear so dramatic in the evening. And these uplights are so affordable, at least in the US. You can also find lights that come on stakes that you place in the soil of your plant to shine upward through the leaves and these work great as well, as long as your plant has some height to it. Try this out and then invite some friends over and I am certain that you will get some appreciative comments. I know that I do. Okay, last but not least, my next trick is a great one when you are trying to maximize natural light in a room that is on the dark side for whatever reason. And the trick is this. Place a mirror opposite your window and then watch the light bounce around your room. And go for a big mirror. The bigger, the better. Mirrors naturally reflect light on their own, 
but when placed opposite a window, they just shine. This is such an easy but often overlooked technique by most people except designers. We know how cost effective and easy this is to do. So give it a try. And there you go, three of my favorite lighting tricks that you can use in your own home to improve the way your home looks. Add some drama and to maximize light. Enjoy.